whether it is from the point of view or from the skills, yeah. Whether it is listening, reading, speaking, writing, or it can use also uh, the language um, components. So in this case, whether it is vocabulary or pronunciation, or it might be the uh, grammar that is acquired by the learners. So do not, because it is a only two to, to SKS. So the paper should be only about 2,500 words, but it should be, uh, what is it? It should be scientific. So what is it scientific? I think we have learned it last semester and also you are going to be able to see the examples of some uh, examples of uh, the papers that I'm going to use uh, for the discussion. So maybe uh, if you still remember the last paper that we discussed about how online chat can, what is it? increase the willingness of the students to communicate. That is one of the example of the SLA, second language acquisition um, research. Jadi itu adalah salah satu contoh. Jadi yang kemarin-kemarin saya beri sebenarnya sudah mengarah semua ke SLA. Oke, okay. for the first week, I'm going to have to give you a kind of review of what we discussed during the semester. This is a, a, a kind of review from your, uh, what is it? It might be that you have learned it when you are at the S1 level, but uh, it is okay. Um, it is going to be a kind of, uh, to make you memorize remember what you have learned so far. So let me just check whether I have, okay, can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, this is about the foundation of the SRA theory. And uh, in the SRA theories, there are five, hypothesis, but it has been added with some other hypothesis. The five hypothesis that is uh, introduced by Crescent in, the 19, in 1983, there are five. The first one is acquisition and learning hypothesis. So, uh, Crescent believes that uh, Acquiring a language can be um, learning a language can be done through two ways. That is through the acquisition, just like when you learn your first language. So you learn your first language subconscious, bukan unconscious ya. Kalau unconscious nanti semaput. Tapi kalau subconscious ini secara tidak sadar, bukan semaput. Subconsciously, uh, you learn it from your parents, your surroundings by listening to them or by hearing what people uh, say and then you repeat them. And then some people give you comment that it is correct or not. So that is subconscious way of learning. The easiest example is when you learn uh, your first language. And uh, uh, learning a language can also be done through learning. Through learning means that you do it consciously. You do it just when you learn uh, Bahasa Indonesia at school. You learn the, uh, what is it? The structure, you learn the vocabulary, you learn the exceptions, you learn 
how to write, you learn how to speak. For example, for public speaking, you can really, you learn it. You do it through studying. So learning and through studying. Apa sih bedanya learning dan studying? Anybody can explain what is the difference between learning and studying? Kalau bahasa Indonesia nggak ada bedanya. Aku kalau masih mau, ibu masih mau sampai tak turu. Bahasa itu ulangan ya panjat gak iso. Apa bedanya sih mau dengan learning and studying? Do you know the difference between learning and studying? Yes, ma'am. Yes, what is it? I think uh, if I am learning, mm -hmm. I don't have a teacher. If I am studying, I have a teacher. Okay. Is that so? Learning with a teacher and study. Oh, sorry. Learning without a teacher and studying with a teacher. Is that right? Uh, I think there is, ma'am. If I am learning, I can uh, learn it from uh, another sources. Okay. I do it by myself. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do it independently. If I'm, uh, if I am learning. Okay. But if you are studying, you need a teacher. Yes, I need a teacher who one who guides me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what about? Riding a bicycle. Are you studying to ride the bicycle or are you learning to ride the bicycle? Learning. Uh, learning. Why is it learning? Because you do not need a teacher? Ma'am, I have some other opinion. Yes. Um, I think study is supposed to be like uh, academically, like study to uh, read, reading something, memorize mm -hmm. the order or something, but learning is uh, to gain uh, the skill or knowledge by doing something practical mm -hmm. or experience something. So mm -hmm. it's not always uh, formal or in the case of educational, mm -hmm. educating something. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you learn something, it means that you get the skills. You get the skills. But when you study, sometimes, even though you have read it so many times, but it doesn't influence your skills. Yeah, it is like contohnya tadi itu. Tadi sudah belajar semalaman, tapi ya ternyata nggak ada pujian, nggak iso. Kenapa nggak bisa? Ya, because you do not learn it. Yeah, so. Learning is more to, uh, when you acquire something, then you learn something. But study doesn't mean that you, you get what you study. Jadi, like study itu kadang nggak masuk ke otak, gitu. nggak masuk, nggak nempel, gitu. nggak nempel pada kebiasaan kita. Gitu. Misalnya ada anak yang sering datang berlambat dimarahi pula balik tapi ya panca tayon berarti apa si di Edward Jackson learn from the experience cek buanja tak tayon so learning is more to how you change your skills how you change your motivation how you change your uh, way of life how you change your Behavior oleh karena itu pada pembelajaran ilmu pendidikan itu ada ada perubahan tingkah laku kalau belajar ilmu pendidikan itu kan ada kapan seseorang itu belajar apabila ada perubahan tingkah laku when there is a change in behavior in the way of how they think. Nah, kenapa pendidikan di Indonesia tidak berhasil kalau kamu ketemu sama bupati ini berarti bupati ini akan memumak dengan literasi. Sampai Pak Ali bilang, bosen aku perlu literasi. Ya. Jadi apa itu literasi? Why is it Indonesian students are uh, in the least, in the lowest rank of the literacy um, test in, in visa? Well, simply because they cannot use the theory that they have learned to, to what is it? 
you use 